How will the housing market perform in 2017? How about 2020? How about just going forward? The housing market is dependent upon many factors such as stability of the job market, interest rates, zoning laws, and tax policies, and many more. Today, the first Tuesday Journal of Orange County published an article by Carrie B. Reyes that summarizes the presidential candidate's federal tax proposals and takes a look at how they're going to affect the housing market over the next four plus years. In this article, Ms. Reyes took a look at the most significant tax pieces that could affect the housing market going forward. Capital gains and real estate terms as the taxable income on the sale of real estate, net investment income, which for the real estate includes income, profit and losses from rental property, and tax rates based upon tax bracket, which could affect exactly how much money is left in your client's pocket. To a smaller extent, taxes on estates and gifts will affect your homeowner clients, so they're discussed there as well. I recommend this article as a good read if you want to stay informed and can use those talking points with your clients. And that way, when they voice a concern, you can talk to them about the future housing market. Email or call us if we can answer any questions for you or if you'd just like a copy of the link. So now minding your own business. So it's becoming increasingly costly to be in the real estate business, whether you're trying to generate new leads or marketing to a listing. Statistics show that it takes an average of two years and seven months to be remembered. Yeah, just to be remembered. So how do you break through without going broke? Well, here's five great ideas on what you can do with very little to no money. One, pick up the phone and talk to five current or past clients a day, every single day. Number two, make a video of yourself with your best buying and selling tips and then post them to YouTube and send it out using free email servers like MailChimp or iContact or something along those lines. Number three, make a video of a past client testimonial. These are awesome, where they're sharing their experience and post it to your website and social media. Number four, write a blog and push it out through email and social media. That way you're gonna get known and Google will give you Google juice. Number five, join or start a networking group or get involved in a charity. And not all marketing costs big bucks, so don't be so afraid of it. Just make sure whatever you do, do it until it either becomes successful or you determine that it's not. Consistency in the long run is where it's really gonna pay off. Well, that's it for another edition of the Real Estate Insider Weekly. We're always here to help. Let us know if we can answer any of your mortgage questions or help you with any of your clients and have a great week.